Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you the capabilities of Camtasia Studio. This will be Camtasia Studio tutorial for absolute beginners where I will show you pretty much how Camtasia Studio works. So let's start by opening Camtasia Studio. This will open up this window and here click on new project. So first thing what you should know about Camtasia Studio is about resolution which you want to work with. And to change resolution you click here on the, on the very top guys. You see currently there is 50%. Just click in there and here you can see project settings just click in there and there you will see what your window current window of your project is in Camtasia Studio I am always choosing full HD guys because I am recording and saving my videos in full HD if you will not be doing this then when you will be importing or creating video you will not not have a full HD format so make sure that you always have a full HD whenever you are exporting your video and we will get to exporting video later and click apply to record video here on the left top corner you will see this button record click on it and will it will open this small panel which you can also hide when you start recording and here you will see different features which you can select first one is this camera off or this is your web camera if you want to you can enable it and if you have attached the web cameras or into your computer you can choose from web cameras which you have here I will be using HD Pro webcam and you will see me in a second guys as you can see me right now and web camera and your basic layer will be recording on different layers you can enable and you can disable web camera if you don't want to record it second one is microphone make sure that you select the real microphone which you would like to use as you can see I have Yeti microphone here but I'm using Yeti now and because I'm recording this video by using OBS studio and so I will not be able to select this microphone however I can use my microphone microphone from my webcam. Here is another thing that you can record system audio. This means whatever you are doing on your screen and or your clicks or if you will be playing video on your screen it will be also recording that sound. If you will uncheck this guys then it will not be recording the sound of your screen. Here you can select the resolution in which you would like to record. If you would like to record in HD resolution, this is 1280 pixels by 720, then you can click on this. But if you want to record in full HD, which is 1920 by 1080p, you can click on this. I'm always recording in full HD format, guys, so I'm clicking on that and you will notice here that there is a lock icon. It keeps your resolution all the time the same of your screen for example if you will be now resizing your screen recording area as you can see here guys this square is recording area which I can move around or which I can resize it will all the time keep this resolution if I will have this lock icon enabled once you want to start recording click on this button record and it will give you three seconds 3, 2, 1, countdown and you can start recording guys and you can close this tab if you don't want to see it which is recording on the screen or you can turn, take it back as you can see it is on your taskbar C in the red square. Now it is recording everything what is in this square. And we can scroll down there and we can scroll back. To stop recording guys all you need to do is just click that stop or you can pause there and then restart recording. Whenever you stop recording you will see that it will bring you back to this window and now you see that this window which you have recorded just now it is here in in this square however it is not in full HD because all your full HD is all this which we which we set up before we started recording so all you need to do to have this in full HD put it in corner and expand it to this visible size but notice that here are two layers first layer click on top layer move it away guys and you will see that web camera has disappeared and web camera is on this first top layer if you would like to move somewhere this web camera recording you can put it wherever you want for example in this corner you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can do whatever you want but for example if you would not want your web camera recording but you would like to leave only audio from this web camera all you need to do is right click on this layer and separate audio and video clip there should be separate audio and video as you can see there guys now your audio and video is separated and you can delete this layer of your web camera all together and only screen recording will be left as screen recording is your very bottom layer 
So I will remove this webcam all together guys, I will leave only sound and I will leave only this recording. And you to control sound, you just click on this layer and here on the right top corner you see this microphone icon, just click on it and you will be able to regulate sound by just dragging to lower and higher. So as you can export sound separately if you would like to work on audacity and make this sound more quality. If you would like to edit now, you can expand this layer by dragging this button here which you can see on top of these layers. If I expand it, it gives me easier ability to edit this video. And to cut out something, there is one way. You put cursor where you would like to cut and you can click on this button cut here. As you can see, there is split. Just click in there and it will split the clip. And if you would like to cut here out, you put your cursor there and you can click on this layer or both layers guys. You highlight them and you again click on this split. Highlight this part which you would like to delete and click delete on your keyboard and it will delete it. Left click, hold down and drag these layers back to these layers. And now you have cut out piece of your video. There is also another way how you can do it in Camtasia Studio. You can place this cursor at the beginning where you would like to start cutting and then you can drag this red part and you will see that you are able to select exact part which you would like to cut out. For example, if I would like to cut out before cutting out even, you can click on play. Take it, it back as you can see it is on your taskbar C. Highlighted. And once you are happy and you are sure that you want to cut this exact part out, just click delete and it will delete that part. Then you highlight these layers, push them back in guys. So in Camtasia Studio is, if you click here on media at the very top, this is very first bar, here is your media bin. By clicking this plus sign, click here import media, you can import images, you can import everything what you want. I will import these two images, okay? You can import audio files and so on and so forth. And if if you would like to place image somewhere on your video, all you need to do is right click on that image and you can drag it straight away to video. And here on the video you can also resize it straight away and place it wherever you want. It's much easier working than with, for example, Premiere Pro. Once you have placed your image, you can regulate by dragging the image how long you want it to be played in Put the it video. back up so by clicking on it there. Disappeared there, guys. If I pl put the cursor back, I play put again. It back up it appears, by clicking on disappears. there. So, as what else we have here in Camtasia Studio, once you are in this media layer, at the very top, here you will see second tab. As you see there, guys. There you can find a lots of different icons. You can drag them and you can play around and have a look what, what else do Camtasia Studio offers there. But there is a lots of different things which you can drag on your screen. As you can see, icons media. Just click on some and drag it on screen and you will see what it is. Next thing is annotations. This is different writings which can appear, for example, on your screen and different arrows and different bl blurs and different other things which you can do on Camtasia Studio. For for example, if you would like to add annotation on your screen, just drag it again on the screen, then you can resize it, guys. And if you would like to change the text, just double click on text. And here on the right hand side, you will see all properties for that particular text. You can change the font type of that text, for example, to this one. And you can change whether it's regular or bold. Let's put it bold, guys. And you can change the size by dragging this arrow here, guys. And you can change the color of the text if you want, just by clicking on this color icon. And then you can select the their different colors, which you can change also. Then there is arrows, like different arrows. You can drag and drop also them on the screen, guys. And you can add them, you can point them. Next one, which is shapes. You can also drag and drop different shapes on the screen and decide where you want them to appear. As you can see, they are building up here, guys. You can place them wherever you want in your clip or over your clip and you can drag them similar to images, smaller or shorter, to decide how long this shape is being displayed in your video. So as in Camtasia Studio, we have different arrows. If I will drag this arrow out and now if I will place there, this video, and you, will you will be able see to see kind of drew this arrow there. If we can add different rectangles as you see I put it there and it now is it is recording everything what is as well on the screen while video is playing if you want to highlight something next thing is transitions these are different transitions which you can add also to your video changing 
places for example we cut video here as you remember in the first place guys all we need to do to add a transition fade transition we just drag this transition to the place where one clip is finishing and another clip is starting just drag it and leave it there guys by dragging the sides of this transition you can regulate how long you want this transition to be let's grab this cubes uh, cube rotate transition let's put it there guys and let's play it and you, you can will see that in now the red square kind of turning and there is lots of different transitions which you can preview by hovering over them and seeing how they are working guys then we have behaviors like shifting behavior if you would like to add it you can drag it to the layer to which you would like to add it leave it there and now you will see that transition will be changing and after this will be jumping then as in the red square there, and second in layer jumped in kind of so as there is animations you can zoom in zoom out so as there is cursor effects whether you want to highlight the cursor if it has been or whether you want cor cursor to be a spotlight and magn or whether you want to magnify that area where you are browsing on the screen on cursors you can click one of these then we have voice narrations you can do voiceovers here and then we have audio effects where you can drag this fade in for example we can put it here it will be fading in this uh, audio uh, or you can regulate it by dragging this dot here guys or you can drag some fade out at the end of some clip if you would like to fade in or fade out some music or your videos so as you can change a clip of your speed whether you want your video to be faster fast forward or if you want it to slow to slow it down guys next we have visual effects these are different visual effects which you can add as well video clip speed there is and once you have done editing and adding all these things here in Camtasia studio click here on share click on local file and here you can select how you want to export your video I am always exporting my video in mp4 only up to 1080 click next and here you can give a title to your video and here you can by clicking on this folder icon you can select where your where you want to save your video and after you have done this click on finish and render your video and your video will be saved in mp4 format with this title where you have saved it so yes guys this is a quick crash course for absolute beginners who want to do to know how to use Camtasia Studio and I find myself that this is one of the best softwares for recording tutorials because this is what I'm using in 80% of cases to record my my tutorials even in this YouTube channel TechWolf so yes guys I hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one